Okay, uh, regarding the last error that we saw in the previous video, so I found few of the fixes from AWS site and few from other sources. So, see, uh, this is one of their Git repo. Here I found uh, uh, since the last error was complaining about sampling rule, here I found they had one resource sampling rules.json where they had uh, rules for API, the rate, the field target, these things for whichever API they were tracking. So in our application we can have other APIs which we would not like to track and only some APIs that we need to track. In that case we can use this file and configure it here. Also in their web config I found uh, let me show you that one web config. This is their web config file. And see it has uh, uh, this, this is the same thing we were doing. We are creating AWS accessibility filter, but apart from that, uh, they are adding these plugins. They uh, are using this builder. Uh, they are setting some global recorder, and then see here uh, they are accessing this resource, the sampling rules or JSON. So similar to that, I have made some changes in uh, in our application. So I have kept only the only part that is necessary. So this server filter. And then this part where I'm loading the sampling rules or JSON. Coming back to oh yeah, this is sampling rules or JSON, and I have added only two APIs here: slash API slash API star, and uh, I modified the test controller also. So this is slash API, and these are slash API stars v1 and v2 basically, and uh, these are basically doing same thing. There's no error codes; it is uh, returning different error, different string messages. And uh, only difference being so these hyphens, hyphens p3 as prefix. Otherwise, it is doing the same thing. So I have uh, built it. I have moved the jar to EC2 instance. So let me start it. Also, I would like to show one file uh, that can be helpful with tracking any issues related to X-ray. So this is the file. See, uh, so it is where slash where slash log x ray x ray dot log. And this one, if you see, uh, when the demo started, it logged these things on which host and port it is running. And then when I was making some previous request, it trailed this error no credential providers. So I'll show you how to fix this one also. So uh, let me start it first and show you these two things live. So, so I'll do a tail f so that we'll see any changes happening to this file. So making this side, start the application here. Okay, now Okay Okay, see here I have API v2 code 400. I'm making a request. I see in both the places it logged something. Here the usual credentials in verbose error. And here, if you can see, now we are seeing which sampling rule was used. So this is using API slash star, and then what message was sent to the extra domain logging. So let me make a few more requests. Okay, okay right now uh, we have that other credential is so that one we can fix from this easy to instance itself so we need to attach an im role security modify im role i have already created one im role that is test x-ray i'll show what this role contains 
but let me update it first okay so now if i make a request I'll do that again see now uh, uh, here that credential chain error has gone it is showing successfully set batch of one segment so now we are good let us make some calls to v1 also let us make v1 call with 500 error oh sorry v1 there is no v1 v3 is there so, v3 another without version 1 that is just slash api see in this case if i see it got this rule slash api the other rule that i had created so there were two rules in my sampling.json file see, this one is slash api and the other one was slash api star okay and make some 200 calls to slash api I had 200 for the other two also, so for V2 also, 1200, even for the V3. Okay, so now we are good. So I have made some call showing up. Also, uh, see in this Springboard present is showing because I didn't show it earlier. I have added this logger logging level for com.aws.xray uh, as debug that's why it's showing in production uh, application we won't want it so there it is not needed as since i was debugging the issue so i added it and here we have successfully sent all these batches so yeah one more thing uh, when i was trying i used to notice that uh, initially even after sending so many requests i was not seeing these in aws console when i was going to x-ray so i was thinking there was some issue so i raised one stack overflow question but i got no answer but somehow so accidentally i noticed when i uh, had uh, tried this and after three hours three or four hours i i went to those console and that time i saw logs from uh, past three hours so it, since i was uh, uh, terminating right after the failure I was terminating the instance right after the failure and I was not noticing anything and I was leaving it for a few hours so earlier I was not getting it so maybe even you are trying on your end you need to wait for some time for these logs to appear there let me go to xk See in this case, uh, we got it immediately. It is showing up. Client is there. This one. There's some color coding. So let me click on it this again, so that you see it in CloudWatch. see the legend color uh, 500 fault 400 errors are also there throttle this is not there so only these two 500 400 as we tested those two let me filter it for 30 minutes okay and i'm selecting it okay let me go to traces see uh, here we can see 500 errors 200 errors and if you go to the next page you can see some 400s also okay and let me try to click these buttons so analyze trace and here you will see uh, all these error codes response time yeah. 
also see uh, these are the different APIs calls that we made their count this was it 17 times this was it 12 times 6 times even which had error but uh, since we also tested and it comes under the rules slash API slash star it was also tracked uh, this is a percentage of these different error codes these are some latency graphs so basically all sort of information that we will need to check the health of our application or APIs all are there so with this I think uh, we have a working solution now so I will end this video now thanks yeah, one more thing I forgot to add the I mean, forgot to show the IAM rule that I had added to fix that permission issue. So let me go to that. So roles. I think I had named it test. Yeah, this is test actually role. And it is Allowing this manage access, uh, manage policy, AWS X-ray write only access. So if you create a role using this policy and attach it to your IAM, just like how I showed earlier, it will work. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, this was the only thing I was missing. So thanks again.